to tip number 8 of the Blue River Creative Top 10 Adobe Acrobat Tips. Today we're going to take a look at adding sound to a PDF. So adding sound to a PDF could come in handy if you've got something like an electronic newsletter that you send out to your customers. You could have a spoken testimonial about your product, or perhaps an interview with someone. Or you might even just want to add to the overall experience of your PDF by adding some sort of sound effects or music in the background for people to listen to while they're scrolling through your PDF. So here I have my trusty example PDF and I've got all these fantastic flags from all over the world. Now say I wanted to zhuzh up the overall experience of my PDF when someone views it and maybe I wanted to add a little bit of Spanish guitar to go with my Spanish flag here. So we're going to start by going up to Tools, Multimedia, Sound Tool. Now just like last week when we uh, took a look at adding videos and movies to PDFs, the uh, little cross symbol comes up. Now I'm just going to drag that over the area that I want uh, to be clickable so when someone wants to play the sound they just click in that specific area that I'm selecting now. So we'll just drag over the Spanish flag and maybe a little bit lower in case we want to add a button and release. Now I have a sound file that I prepared earlier. Once you've navigated through your computer and found your sound file, mine's ready to go here, you just click on it and then click open and this little warning pop-up will appear. Exactly the same as when we added a movie to a PDF. This is just saying that uh, your PDF will need to open up a, a program that's already existing on the end user's computer to be able to play the sound, which is fine because everyone generally has some form of sound player already on their computers. So we'll just click continue. And now there are some details that we need to run through. So here we need to select the uh, contents compatibility. So we've got Acrobat 5 and earlier, or Acrobat 6 and later. Now because we're moving forward with programs, we want to select Acrobat 6 and later. We've selected our, our sound file already, we just did that, so that's all in there correctly. Content type, audio, yep, that's correct. We're going to leave use no poster for now, because we already have uh, the little Spanish flag. Excellent, so now time to test our little sound clip. If we go up here to the hand tool, and select that. Now remember where you created your clickable area and then your little hand becomes a little pointy finger and we'll just click on that. Beautiful. Now, your end user may not be aware that that little Spanish flag there has an awesome little sound clip attached to it. So we need to create a button that indicates that they can play the sound. We're up to tools advanced editing, button. You then drag over the area you want to become your visible button. Now it's time to name our button. Now this name here won't be visible to your end user, it'll just be for your own reference. So I'll just type in play sound and now we click show all properties. Alright, now to punch in our details. We want the form field to be visible. We'll head to Appearance. Now this is where you can select what your button looks like. So if you'd like, you can have a border colour of your choice or a fill colour of your choice. Try to stay uh, in sync with the existing graphic design of your PDF so it doesn't look too ugly. So we'll create our... Well actually we'll have no colour for now and we'll just make sure our text colour is visible. So down here we start editing uh, how we want the text to look. So you can edit your font size or your text color or the type of font that you'll be using. I'm happy with Helvetica Bold and the size 12. Uh, actually maybe I'll make it a size 10 because it is quite a small little area in there. Um, but this is all entirely up to you. You customize it to your PDF. So text color, I want it to be white because that will look nice with my existing graphic design. Now on to our next set of options and that is options. So label only. That's fine. Behavior. This is sort of how your end user knows that their click on the button has worked. Now, generally, uh, buttons all over the internet and all through your computer work through uh, invert, which means the colors are inverted to show that the button has been clicked on. So we'll leave it as that. That is fine. This is the uh, visible part of our button. So we'll want to put play sound. Excellent, and then on to actions, 
So most buttons on computers and on the internet work through the um, mouse up trigger, which basically means when you click down, that's mouse down, and then when you let go, that's mouse up. So that's releasing the click. That's just generally how buttons work. So we'll stick with that. Select action. Okay, so this is where you select your little sound clip that you've already put into your PDF so that the button knows that when the end user clicks down on the button that it plays that sound. We just go to this drop down menu. Now because we've already put in our little sound file we want to go to play media Acrobat 6 and later. Remember because we made our sound file applicable to Acrobat 6 and later compatible. And then we click add. Then a list of all the bits of media that are on your PDF already will come up. Now we've only got our sound file at the moment so we'll just select that and then click OK. And that comes up there. Now click close. We'll click down on the hand tool to make it the uh, preview version. And there's our little button down there so we'll just click down. Fantastic! Join us next week for the Blue River Creative Top 10 Adobe Acrobat Tips where we'll take a look at creating forms.